Thrasher. Well, Agnes has been a big frustration. I agreed to treat her for six months. It's been going on about nine months now. Tell her I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut her off. <laughs> They're spending all your goddamn money, man. Fuck. What you do? Who you got over there? I ain't got nobody over here, duh. You always saying the subject. What the fuck is going on? Just try to be still on the inside. Like the birds. Like the trees. Number 30,957,977. No, Holden. You might want a drink. You don't look like the type to take this news so easily. Here's your work assignment. Report to processing and based upon your performance between now and the reincarnation, your case will be reevaluated and a judgment of heaven or hell shall be passed. Should you waive your right of purgatory, a jury of your peers shall judge you now. Do you understand these rights? Purgatory? What did I do wrong? I led a good life. Our records indicate your cause of death to be adenocarcinoma. One word, honey, no dash. What? What? These medical words can be tricky. I was just clarifying. I, I know what you said, but... Adenocarcinoma? Yes. Cancer. What does that have to do with this? I, I, the doctors couldn't do anything. How the hell is that a, a suicide? Sir, our records indicate that you were made aware of the potential toxic consequences of cigarettes. Wait a second. That is not fair. Sir, were you or were you not made aware of the harmful side effects of cigarettes? That we file under suicide. <laughs> if you would like to waive your chance to prove your worth in a purgatory review, Please check the box so we can move on. I am not a suicide. Were you a smoker? Yes. Did it give you cancer? Suicide. I need a fucking cigarette. Uh -uh. There's no smoking up in here. Now, this is a long line, sir. You need to move along. Fucking smokers. Next.
Where's that food you were talking about? My name is Shayna. What, what can I get you to eat today? <laughs> you know, uh, there's this man that comes in here every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, he bought me that sweater. Up at my table. And when he comes, he always buys me a coffee and a muffin. A man you don't even know gave you that sweater and buys you food every day. Yeah. And the sweater fits just fine. Just my size. I'll go get you that coffee then. about this man, Grim, uh, ma'am. Uh, what do you know about him? Well, uh, he's very uh, skinny and tall. He's got a face like that old droopy doll in that cartoon. <laughs> you know, yeah. the sad eyes and everything. Yeah. And, uh, He, uh, he wears a brown suit. Yeah. And he's got a little, uh, bow tie. I do like a man in a suit. What was his name again? Um, uh, he, you know, I never really heard him mention his name. I, I don't know. I, I, I may be wrong. But, um, he'll tell me again, though. He come, he come here every day. I think you're trying to pick me up. Huh? Can you imagine that? Trying to pick you up, yeah. huh? Can I show you something? Is this the man in the bow tie? Mm. That look like him. But, uh, he looked better in this picture, though. <laughs> Not so droopy face. If he look, if he look like that now, then maybe I give him a little okay. time. Do you, do you recognize the woman in the photo? No, I, no, no. Are you sure? I mean, you didn't even look. Just, just take a look. Why? Is she his wife? Yeah. <laughs> now that's shameful. Man's married. Come on over here. Trying to pick me up over some damn coffee. <laughs> what I tell you about them good intentions. Take a closer look. I mean, here. <laughs> Maybe if you had your glasses, you could probably see them. I bit. told you! I don't know that woman! Why are you trying to confuse me? Is everything okay? It's okay. Everything's all right. Uh, it's my fault. That's just a damn picture. No. Sorry, it was a bad idea. It's my mistake. What is it, baby? What is it? Nothing, nothing. 
just a, a great love story with a very sad end. What religion are you, Bertha? Thought you said you was Catholic once. If you could remember, we could call the sisters over like we did Rose Kramer, you know. Get you warm. Get your uh, strength back. Huh, Bertha? You want to see a doctor? Please. You sit bad. got to provide for the future. We can't just let things slide. What you gonna do? You got to decide. Now the girls need this room. And they can't have it. Well, you laying here. You got to come to some decision. You are sick. Ain't nobody give you no Mickey Finn last night. You've been laying here two solid weeks talking out your head. Now the sensible thing for you to do, Bertha, come back home. Well, ain't no place for a girl in your condition. We need this room. If I let you stay here, you're going to stay here doing nothing from now until grab it down. Now pull yourself together. Now listen here. If you don't decide right this minute, I'm going to call the ambulance squad. Tell them to come and get you. All right? I'm going to take this change. Let me make the call right now. Why don't you call that man, Bertha? Why don't that Howard stuff? Now, I'm sure you ain't forgotten all them good times you had in that back room. If this man's got money, maybe he can send you some. Help you get back on your feet. Remind him how he said he would help you if you ever needed it. Form 2316A. Form 2316A, fill it out. Where am I? The department. The department of what? The department of lost souls. The DLS, if you prefer. Of lost souls. That's what I said. But I'm not. Did? Yeah. <laughs> Did I just give you Form 2316A? Yeah. And you're dead. You are here to be assessed. Assessed. By me. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? No. Amber, I find you at fault for your abhorrent crime that sends the slaughter of the innocent. <laughs> you have been assessed and found to be disgraceful. 